Hi everyone, it's Lanisha with your Tip Tuesday. I'm Lanisha Tindall, Paparazzi Accessories Independent Consultant, number 103-414. You know how you've got one of those beautiful pieces of jewelry that you just absolutely love? I absolutely love this bracelet. Um, it's stretchy, the pink rhinestones are just the cutest, but I knocked it up against something and the stone fell out. So the question is, how am I gonna fix this? I also have a pair of earrings that I knocked and stone came out. I have a necklace that I hit and the stone came out. So how am I gonna fix these pieces? With E6000, E6000 is a permanent bond transparent, transparent glue for jewelry. You get four of these in a pack. I got these from Michaels. You can probably pick them up at Walmart or anywhere. I like the smaller twos because my hands are small, but also when you're dealing with smaller pieces of jewelry, it's probably easier to use. So what I'm going to do is show you how to quickly repair a piece. Um, takes no time at all. Just um, using the glue. You typically have to um, allow the glue to sit for about 24 hours or so. Um, and it does dry transparent and it does dry clear. So I'm gonna start with the little earrings that are missing this piece. And then here is the stone. And all I'm gonna do is just take a little drop of the glue. You don't wanna to put too much because you don't want it to fall off on the sides. You want it to be neat when you adhere it to the, the earring. So I'm gonna take the earring. Typically I would just lay it flat. I'm gonna put it exactly where I want it to go. Then I'm gonna press it down, make sure I have it lined up correctly. And I'm just gonna press it, make sure it's in place. You wanna make sure that it's lined up the way you want it lined up. You wanna make sure that there's no glue hanging off the side. And if there is, you can just take a safety pin and just kind of clean it up. But you don't wanna put too much glue onto it um, to where it looks kind of messy. So that's it right there. You can see it's already um, adhering. But of course you want to let it sit and um, stay in place for about 24 hours like the packaging says. I'm going to also show you that necklace that I have that I knocked out. So I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to put the glue, <laughs> I dropped the necklace. Press pause. And I'm not going to edit that out. Just, just keep, just hold on. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. That's what happens when your arms are too short to box with God. You can barely reach things on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna take this stone. Let me see, that's it right there. We're gonna take the stone, it's kind of blurry. And we're gonna glue. But again, you don't wanna to put too much on it. And actually with this, because the metal is mostly on the outside, you're going to actually put the glue in the spots where you plan to um, adhere it to the necklace. So here I've got my necklace. Here I've got my piece. And I'm going to stick that in there. Make sure it's in place. I'm going to just kind of hold it down and press firmly to make sure that it stays there. Okay. And I'm going to just let this lay down flat and dry it overnight and I've gotten my pieces fixed with no problem takes about 30 seconds 20 seconds doesn't take long at all to actually get your pieces together um, so that's going to be our tip Tuesday for tonight so e6000 and I'm sure you know there are plenty of other um, other glues and transparent um, permanent bonds that you can use and this is good for jewelry fabric wood ceramic and more so again they have bigger tubes it only cost me about four dollars for these tubes and i like them because you know if i need to stick them in my purse they're small i can take them with me just in case i need to you know stick something back on so again it's good for just kind of fixing pieces that may have just kind of um, popped off and you don't want to get rid of your jewelry but you don't want to yeah okay bye